Welcome, Forbidden West Travelers. It is time for Horizon Best Skills Guide. Before we get started with specific skills, we want to talk about the essential ones that you want to pick up as fast as you can. These are the ones that you can be able to pick up early and that are going to help you through the game in every single way from combat, survivability, and so much more. There's concentration, which will help slow down time when you're aiming down sight. And this is critical in combat in every single way from from when you need to attack or when you need to defend. You can slow down time and give yourself a second just from that concentration. So unlocking all of those are very critical. Weapon stamina is a new feature where you need that for every single thing that you're going to do when it comes to attacking. So you want to unlock that skill early and be able to utilize it throughout the game. Triple notch allows you to have three arrows every time you're shooting. Instead of having one, you'll shoot three. Now, this will eat up a lot of your ammo, but there are some things to help with that, such as ammo expert. It's going to allow you continually craft faster and not use as much material. Potent medicine, a way to heal faster and to heal more very critical part of the survivability of your game. And speaking of survivability, the medicine capacities, also another one that's just as important. It's gonna allow you to pick up more berries so that you can stock up. And speaking of stocking up, the plant forger is going to be essential. These right here are your pillars for the most part. Of course, I would like to add two key components as well, the workbench. It's basically going to allow you to craft for cheaper. It's a really critical tool to be able to be in the middle of a fight and continuously create ammo. And last but not least on the list about essentials, your Valor Surge is so critical. There's one called Valor on Impact, which boosts your Valor every time you get hit. Normally, you have to put out damage to be able to upgrade your Valor, but this also lets you take damage and boost it. Those are your essentials. Now, these are all within the skill tree. Half were on hunters and some of them were on survivors, but you're going to want to unlock these very early just to have a smooth ride during the game and make your life a lot easier. And these actually combine with the skills that I believe are the best in the game because concentration will slow down time. Weapon stamina allow you to use your abilities a lot more. That there are valor surges which are the ultimate ability in the game but it costs a lot to unlock them because you have to unlock everything around so what you need to do is focus on one that you feel is going to be the most fun and you will enjoy maybe you're a melee heavy or you like traps or you like shooting or you're like me you like to play stealthy Make sure that whatever Valor Surge you pick first is one you're willing to spend a lot of your skill points on. From there, you're gonna unlock that specific ability. Getting into the skill tree specifics, we have the Warrior skill tree. Burst Fire is such a fun setup for anybody that plays close range. When you're doing a lot of melee attacks and then you dodge away just a little, you can pull out your Burst Fire ability to be able to shoot three shots which really make it a fun experience of course you're going to be able to add your three arrows from the triple notch that we talked about earlier the hunter skill tree has tons of abilities that you're going to love and enjoy but the ones that i would recommend for you to be able to pick up right away one is the valor surge master which allows you to build up valor surge faster secondly this is an attacking ability critical boost is going to let you do some heavy duty damage self-explanatory your critical hits do a lot more damage and last but not least on the hunter skill tree that i think you should want to look into is sustained burst it allows you to do some high damage rapid fire especially if you knock an enemy or you freeze them with element damage you're going to be able to pull that out and do some serious work trapper skill tree in this one i really like the quick wire why because those are just easy to put down abilities in the middle of a fight 
you might be focusing on melee or using your bow but when you have this trapper ability unlocked the quick wire allows you to drop an ability hurt or stun an enemy and then continue your fight the survivor skill tree we talked a lot about some of their abilities when it comes to medicine and things of that nature but little do you know the survivor has some very serious fun attacking ability the sticky bomb is incredible here when you put element damage on there you're going to easily knock back an enemy especially if he runs into other te other enemies you're going to get multiple guys all at once with the sticky bomb infiltrator skill tree this one right here is super interesting because this is critical in some aspect especially early on you're going to be able to stealth your way through a lot of action and you can use the infiltrators smaller perks that don't cost a lot to do so but then when you want to get offensive and you want to look into different abilities within the infiltrator embraced shot does some serious damage and focus shot two abilities that are going to put out some heavy damage while you're stealthing and possibly take out an enemy without them noticing machine master overriding sub routines this right here is such a, a pivotal skill where you're going to override a machine and then you can command it to be defensive or aggressive when it's defensive it's going to back off and stick with you when it's aggressive it is going to attack anything in the area another great ability in the machine mastery is the propelled spike propelled strike is possibly one of the sleeper abilities in the game i think it's tons of fun and it does some heavy duty damage with the spike thrower might be the best in the game we will put out a end game combination of different skills and the best build that you can make in this game in the near future but this right here is the core list of the things i think you want to start off with and then go from there to be able to master your build by unlocking specific armor mods and so much more then go ahead and leave a comment telling me what you love the best which is your best ability that you want to use in combination with a whole lot of different things we do have tons of more videos and guides for you guys whether it's locating the machines armor weapons and so much more so tune in right here to madgamer.com enjoy your journey in the forbidden west safe travels